Okay guys, so in the previous mm, tutorial, we learned how to install uh, the entire environment for Ruby on Rails application, how to build our first application and how to uh, do a hello world. So now I'm gonna show you how to add Bootstrap to this project. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna show you two ways um, how to install uh, Bootstrap or how to add Bootstrap to your project. Uh, the first is gonna be, let's say, a classic way. So I'm gonna show you how to add any external CSS and JS to your uh, project. So let's go to Bootstrap 5 because this is the newest version. Well, it's still in the beta version, but um, let's go to Docs. So this is um, this is Bootstrap beta, but we are expecting to see um, uh, a stable version very very soon. So I'm gonna show you that instead of a Bootstrap four. So let's download compiled CSS and JS version. So we have it here. Let's open it up. Let's extract zip. Okay, and we have it here, JS CSS, and I'm gonna put it aside. Let's open a new window, and now let's go to working, and um, app. So let's go to app, um, and here we have assets and JavaScript. So we're gonna put our CSS into assets and JavaScript into JavaScript. So uh, let's go to assets, style sheet, now let's copy CSS over here. So we have Bootstrap CSS. Now Rails will automatically load all the files which are here. So it's important for you not to copy both like Bootstrap and Bootstrap Min because then you're gonna have a styles duplicated in your app. Now let's get back to uh, JavaScript to levels up, packs, and let's place JavaScript over here. So Bootstrap, uh, Bootstrap JS. Obviously we. Um, for the production deployment, we would use minified version. And now let's restart server. And I'm gonna refresh this page and please note this font as once I refresh, it's gonna change to a default bootstrap font. So let's have a look, I'm refreshing. And now it has changed to bootstrap. And if we check our network, you're gonna see that in CSS, we have this Bootstrap 5 beta uh, loaded. So this is added and compiled into application CSS. Now, as far as CSS is concerned, it's automatically loading all the style sheet, but for JavaScript, we need to do one more thing to get them loaded. So we need to go, uh, we need to open our application JS file, so JavaScript packs application JS, and we need to add a line here stating that we want to import packs bootstrap. And let's refresh it now. And let's restart server. Let's refresh it. And you can see that now Bootstrap JS has also been loaded into our application. So what we can do now, let's grab some component, let's say cart, and we can start using this in our application. So this is a bootstrap card, which is working like a charm. Okay, there is one more important thing you should know. So uh, basically we put our CSS and JavaScript in app folder, but this folder is meant for your own style sheet. So if you create something by your own, if we are using a third party, uh, vendors, third-party applications, third-party libraries, we should store them under the vendor. So we should move them here. Um, so this is, please keep it 
please keep this in mind. Uh, I'm going to remove uh, Bootstrap right now. So I'm going to get rid of this from our assets, style sheets. I'm going to get rid of Bootstrap CSS. I'm going to get it rid of from JavaScript packs. Mm, and I'm also going to update um, our JavaScript application and uh, import statement. Uh, and I'm going to show you the second option, how to add Bootstrap to your project. So let's get back to Bootstrap page. And if we hit download uh, and scroll down, you, we're going to see that we can uh, install Bootstrap either via Yarn, RubyGems, um, and RubyGems offers us uh, two options. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Yarn to add uh, Bootstrap to our project. So let's open command line and run So let's go open a command line and run yarn and bootstrap next, which will install bootstrap. Oh, by the way, this is important thing to mention. Since bootstrap 5 doesn't require jQuery, we don't have to install jQuery like we used to do in the past when, with the bootstrap 5. So what we also gonna do, we also uh, on a, we're just gonna add a popper JS which is used by Bootstrap. Now we need to import Bootstrap to our application JS, which we already know. So uh, let's go to JavaScript and let's create a new folder. Style sheets. And let's create a new file over here, which can I be called application CSS. Now inside application CSS, we're going to do add import bootstrap. And now in application JS, we're going to add import bootstrap and import style sheets application. What we did above is to add styles from JavaScript to our application layout. And this layout is used by all the pages so far. Then through JavaScript, import bootstrap and bootstrap styles. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but this is how we do it with a webpack. So uh, let's now try to um, open and run our server by Rails, typing Rails S and see the result. Everything works like a charm. Uh, however, some of you um, told me, some of the users told me that they had an issue with uh, a yarn. So um, for some reason, for uh, some of the users, you might see in the console error stating that upper core couldn't be found. Um, so what's the solution to, to this problem? Well, uh, if you look at the node modules, uh, you should see this at popper.js. So some users claims mm, that it's not getting installed. And the, if you remember before, we installed uh, popper um, manually and if you go to node modules and under the p letter you should find uh, this popper which is here but um, if we check bootstrap dependencies so let's go to the bootstrap mm, bootstrap 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 it's here Oh, it's here bootstrap and we check uh, package.json we're gonna see that dev dependent that there is a dependency uh, for um, popper at popper js core and some of the users for some reason are not getting this installed so if that doesn't work for you simply type yarn add add popper and this will install you. 
the newest popper and the error will be gone. So check the console for um, to, see, to make sure that you don't have any errors. This error, by the way, is about this image from here because obviously we didn't use any image. But just to make sure that JavaScript works fine, let's go to docs, bootstrap 5 docs, components, let's grab a model and let's get example. Mm. This is model itself and I want to have the one with the button. So I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to add this to our application. Nope, this one to the index of hello world. Save it. And let's see. And everything works like a charm. So this was the second way of adding a bootstrap to your to your Rails Ruby on Rails 6 project. And uh, this is how you add the newest bootstrap 5. Again, let me remind you that we don't need jQuery anymore, which is a huge step ahead. Mm, if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to leave a like. Don't forget to comment this video. This is going to help us to reach more developers. Mm, uh, if you have any question, please do not hesitate to post them in the comment or in our Facebook group. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we are doing um, tutorials like that um, twice a week. So every Tuesday and Friday there is a new video for you. So if you don't want to miss that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video.